for better fitness. Did you know that exercise mm. might help slow down Alzheimer's? There's some science about this. Even Parkinson's, I was reading in the study, some yes, of the studies yep. that you sent us. Manager uh, Taylor Bidmead is here. She's the manager of Fitness Together. She's showing us a few of those workouts. Thanks so much for being with us. We appreciate Absolutely. that. Absolutely. It's my pleasure to be Keep here. Keep moving. That's the that's yes. the motto. Keep moving. Yes. Film. I mean, the science is still early, but we just they, they, what they found is exercise helps. Absolutely. We're working on reducing the inflammation of the um, cranial cortex of the brain. So moving the brain and making sure that you're firing those neuron channels can help with the progression and reduce the inflammation of different areas of the brain. Okay, so you have some suggestions as to what we should be doing. Yes. So um, moving every um, part of the body in every direction that it can and kind of maintaining. So like you said, keep moving. Keep okay, moving. So some simple exercises you can do is like step touch okay. to kind of get warmed up. Um, especially for people who have a standing job, just getting up and making sure you're moving you side to side. Like this. Actually, they said a lot of companies are starting to do walking meetings. <laughs> they, perfect. Do this. I love that. So now that you have the lower body moving, we're going to start to work the upper body as well. So we're going to step and reach. Oh, okay. So now you're moving in the transverse and sagittal planes, breaking the lateral plane, left and right, forward and back. I know they also say that this helps connect your left and right brain whenever you do cross body exercises, exactly. right? Exactly. Yes, that's exactly what we're talking about. Working your brain with Taylor, your body. Amongst all these studies, did you come across how often we should be doing these exercises? You need to be working out at least three times a week. At so least three times a week for? For an hour. So 30 hour. minutes a day, which is a number of minutes. So if you can't do 30 minutes every day, try and do an hour three different times a week. Or sometimes okay. 30 minutes is easier. Or you could break it up, right? You can do 15 in the morning and 15 yeah. at night to get your 30. So even if you... Definitely. You know, get up and do some 15 minutes of stretching and moving. Now, if you already have Alzheimer's, sometimes there's going to be some difficulties. That's why you have the chair here. Yeah, especially with left and right brain. So another one of the exercises that we can do would be doing a squat. So if it's helpful, you can do it in a chair, stand up. And to make it a little bit harder, again, to make it harder for the body and working those um, muscle reflexes, to bring it down and pulse. Two, three, stand up. One, two, three three stand up. So I'm really not, working I'm, on I'm controlling on the body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So working shot. on well, controlling I'm, the body. You're in a dress. <laughs> I, don't know, oh. I don't know that's gonna work. We'll just sit down and get back up so that I <laughs> but yes, I don't want you hurting yourself. No, but even Scott's, that is Scott's you know, still just moving and you know somebody Right. Gets... You could do this at your office too if you just want to get yourself moving. I mean, mm -hmm. we have those Fitbits that go off and say just go up and flight of stairs. I mean, just the idea of moving even if you can't get to a fancy exactly. gym. And another one you can do at your chair would be doing a lunge and again to um, work those neuron pathways and make it a little bit harder for your body. Bring it down, pulse one, two, three, bring it back. Okay. So shoulders back, chest up, keeping that upper body weight nice and perpendicular over your pelvis, keeping a straight pelvis, and bringing it back. Okay. So well, and you know, again, some of the studies that you sent along, fascinating, and uh, they, they say that they're not quite sure what type of exercise is going to actually help, but they say exercise definitely helps, and you got to keep helps. just keep moving. Mm -hmm. So it's good. Reduces good inflammation in the brain. All right. So there you go. And to learn more about fitness together, or maybe you want to make an appointment, you can visit fitnesstogether.com slash Rocky Hill. The studio is right on New Britain Avenue in Rocky Hill, and that's where you find Taylor. Thanks so much. Thanks.